Alright guys, I have a really quick one for you here. Once you get to this location, after you found the three crashed helicopters and you make your way to the little Twin Falls Mountain area, you're going to find an area that has other players in it. It's where you will complete the first mission. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the shop that's in here. As you come down here, you can find the shop. And this is a really great place to buy a ton of weapon attachments and cosmetic items really early on, pretty much immediately. Now I'm going to show you guys the other stuff that's in here. Your items may be different than mine just because I think they change over time. And also, when I first got here, I had 30,000 credits that I had already spent on several modifications and stuff like that. So, uh, the first thing here that you're going to see is guns. I would definitely recommend that you guys do not buy any guns right now. I literally left this mission and went and did one more mission. And by the time I came back, I have items that are level 20 now. So I wouldn't even waste my time buying this stuff, at least not until you're at a max level and then you see that they have like green perks and stuff on them. So I would really hold off on the weapons and the gear for now. Now another thing that you're going to see here also is the vehicles. I'm not 100% sure how the vehicles work in here. I don't know if you can call them in any time or if you use them once and they're kind of done. So I didn't really want to mess with it. If you have messed with it and you know, then please feel free to comment and let me know. Now this consumable thing uh, tab here, I would obviously buy some stuff from here. Um, I already have full grenades and everything, but I am going to buy some breach torches so I can cut through some fences and help me infiltrate some areas a little bit easier. Uh, this is your attachments here. As I said, I already bought a ton of them and I spent all my credits. This is definitely a very good use of your money. And then obviously a few cosmetic items if you want to look a little bit different than your friends. Something that I would definitely recommend as buying if you're going to buy a cosmetic item would be to scroll all the way down to the bottom and buy some of these colors. That way you look different than your friend because we all have the same free colors. And then you also have your cosmetic items or your knives. You have your card banners which will show up in PvP. Since I'm not into the PvP just yet, I haven't purchased one of these. Um, although there was one in particular that I did like that I don't really see here but uh, then you also have your emblems, which go over your banners, which will show up in PvP as well. Again, I didn't buy one of these because I'm not really into the PvP just yet. And then here is probably the best use of your money, other than attachments, um, for the fun, is to buy some emotes to mess around with people. There's nothing wrong with using the emotes. I absolutely love these things, and I did buy a couple of them. And as you've seen, I also just bought one there too. So this video is basically useful for you as a tip, in case you haven't got here yet, in case you're waiting to play this game until the weekend. Um, if you're new to the channel, then go ahead and subscribe. Please leave me a thumbs up and a comment. Let me know that you guys like to see videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one.